In the rich tapestry of Greek mythology, there emerged a creature of captivating legend known as the Harpy. These enigmatic beings, half-human and half-bird, have a history that stretches back to the earliest myths of ancient Greece. While their origins remain shrouded in the mists of time, they have inspired a multitude of interpretations and theories. The Harpies, with their fierce and unpredictable nature, were first introduced to the world in the epic poems of Hesiod, a Greek poet who lived around the 8th century BC. In his work Theogony, Hesiod described these beings as winged women who were sent by Zeus to torment the ill-fated king Phinus of Thrace. They were sent to steal his food, swooping down with their sharp talons to snatch away his meals before he could partake. The name Harpy itself is thought to originate from the Greek word harpyria, meaning snatchers or robbers. It perfectly encapsulates their predatory behavior, swooping down to seize what they desired with unmatched swiftness. Beyond Hesiod's accounts, the Harpies made several appearances in other Greek myths, often as agents of divine punishment. In the tragedy Prometheus bound by Aeschylus, they were depicted as servants of Zeus, tasked with restraining the titan Prometheus on a desolate mountaintop. As with many ancient myths, the origins of the Harpies are open to interpretation and have given rise to various theories. Some scholars speculate that these creatures may have drawn inspiration from earlier Near Eastern myths and depictions of bird-like demons. Others suggest that they may have evolved from a combination of bird and human attributes found in different cultures. One compelling theory links the Harpies to the Sirens, another group of mythical beings with bird-like characteristics. Both the Harpies and Sirens were often portrayed as alluring yet dangerous creatures, embodying the dual nature of the natural world, both beautiful and deadly. In later centuries, the concept of the Harpy evolved beyond Greek mythology and seeped into various aspects of art, literature, and culture. They became a symbol of unrestrained female power, representing both the captivating allure and the destructive potential of the feminine. This duality only added to their enduring mystique. The Harpies' legacy also found a home in medieval and Renaissance art, where they appeared in various forms in paintings, sculptures, and literature. Artists and writers drew upon their rich mythology to explore themes of temptation, punishment, and the eternal struggle between humanity and the natural world. Today, the harpy endures as a captivating figure in popular culture, often portrayed in books, movies, and games as a symbol of both beauty and terror. While the origins of these mythical beings may remain shrouded in mystery, their enduring presence in our imaginations is a testament to the power of ancient mythology to captivate and inspire us across the ages. The harpies, with their wings outstretched and talons at the ready, continue to remind us of the timeless allure and danger of the unknown. Now, let's venture into the realm of harpy desires and goals. In the tales of ancient Greece, harpies were frequently depicted as agents of divine retribution. One of their most famous roles was as tormentors of King Phinus, whom they punished for his misuse of prophetic powers. In this context, their goals seemed to be to enforce cosmic justice by preventing him from enjoying a meal, symbolizing their role as harbingers of punishment for those who defied the gods. Another key appearance of the Harpies was in the myth of Prometheus, where they served as instruments of Zeus's will in punishing the Titan for stealing fire and giving it to humanity. In this narrative, the Harpies were sent to bind Prometheus to a mountain and subject him to eternal torment. Here, their goal aligned with Zeus's desire for retribution and control over a rebellious figure. While their primary role was often one of punishment, the harpy's behavior also hints at a more instinctual desire for sustenance. 
In Hesiod's writings, they were described as stealing Phineas's food, suggesting a basic need for nourishment. This aspect of their character highlights the dual nature of the harpies, embodying both a supernatural force of punishment and a more primal hunger. Beyond these specific instances, the harpies' broader goals remain shrouded in mystery. They are often associated with the unpredictable and capricious aspects of nature, and their actions may be driven by instinctual urges rather than deliberate intentions. In some interpretations, they are seen as personifications of storm winds, embodying the chaotic and uncontrollable forces of the natural world. In the realm of art and literature, the harpies have been reimagined and repurposed in various ways. Their symbolism has evolved to represent broader themes, such as the allure and danger of the unknown, the power and unpredictability of the feminine and the tension between civilization and the untamed wilderness. In modern times, the harpies continue to capture our imagination as multifaceted symbols, each interpretation offering a different glimpse into their desires and goals. Whether they serve as agents of punishment, embodiments of primal instincts, or metaphors for the complexities of the human experience, the harpies remain a captivating and enduring presence in the realm of mythology and storytelling. Now, let's explore the lore of harpy society and their interactions with each other. In the myths, harpies are usually depicted as a group of winged female creatures who act in unison. They are often portrayed as agents of divine will, sent to carry out specific tasks or punishments. This synchronized behavior suggests a certain level of cooperation and coordination among them. While they are sometimes described as tormentors or harbingers of punishment, their actions appear to be in alignment with a shared purpose, serving the will of the gods. There are hints of hierarchy in the sense that the harpies typically carry out the orders of powerful deities, particularly Zeus in Greek mythology. In the myth of Prometheus, it is Zeus who sends the harpies to punish the titan as part of his retribution. This implies a chain of command where the harpies, despite their autonomy as supernatural beings, ultimately answer to the ruling gods of Olympus. However, within the realm of harpy society, there is less clarity. They are often described as sisters, suggesting a familial bond among them. Their actions, such as tormenting King Phineas or punishing Prometheus, are carried out collectively, reinforcing the idea of a group dynamic. It's also worth noting that they are sometimes associated with storm winds, emphasizing their elemental and chaotic nature. In some interpretations, the harpies are presented as unpredictable and capricious, acting on their own instincts and desires. This portrayal suggests that their society, if one can even call it that, may be more anarchic and driven by individual whims rather than structured hierarchies. In summary, while Greek mythology doesn't provide a detailed blueprint of harpy society and hierarchy, it does offer glimpses into their cooperative behavior when serving divine orders and hints at familial ties among them. Their actions are often unified in purpose, but the broader dynamics of their society remain shrouded in the mysteries of the ancient world, leaving room for interpretation and imagination. Now, let's explore the concept of harpy enemies and their interactions with other mythical beings and figures. In the realm of Greek mythology, there isn't specific information regarding harpy hunters in the conventional sense as harpies were supernatural beings and not creatures that could be hunted by mortals using typical hunting tactics and equipment. However, there are instances in mythological stories where heroes encountered harpies and attempted to deal with them. One notable example comes from the story of the Argonauts and their encounter with the harpies. The Argonauts were a group of heroes led by Jason on a quest to obtain the Golden Fleece. During their journey, 
they encountered the harpies on the Strophades Islands. The harpies, in this instance, were not hunted but rather engaged in a sort of conflict. To deal with the harpies, the blind prophet Finis, who was being tormented by them, offered guidance to the Argonauts. He advised them to set up a feast with food and wait in ambush. When the harpies descended to steal the food, the Argonauts would be ready to confront them. This plan aimed to confront the harpies indirectly, using a strategy to counter their thieving behavior rather than attempting to physically hunt or harm them. As for equipment, the heroes likely used weapons and tools suitable for confronting mythical creatures. These could include swords, spears, and bows, which were standard weapons for Greek heroes. However, it's important to note that the focus of the encounter was on outsmarting the harpies rather than engaging in a traditional hunt. In this context, the hunt was more about resolving a problem posed by the harpies rather than pursuing them as prey. Greek mythology often emphasized the hero's wit, strategy, and ability to navigate complex challenges rather than hunting creatures in the manner of mortal game. In summary, while there are stories of encounters with harpies in Greek mythology, they typically involve strategies to outsmart or deal with the creatures rather than hunting them in the conventional sense. The heroes of these myths used their wits and weapons to confront the harpies and resolve the challenges posed by these enigmatic beings. Now, let's explore the concept of harpy weaknesses and vulnerabilities in mythology. The existence of harpies in real-life events is, of course, a matter of myth and legend, and there are no documented cases of actual harpy sightings or encounters in the historical or contemporary record. However, it's worth noting that throughout history, various cultures have had their own interpretations of mysterious, and unexplained phenomena that might have been misconstrued as harpy-like beings. Here's an example of such an occurrence. In the 1960s, a small town in West Virginia found itself gripped by a series of strange and unsettling events that led some to believe they were encountering a creature akin to a harpy. The central figure in this phenomenon became known as the Mothman. Starting in November 1966, residents of Point Pleasant began reporting sightings of a tall, humanoid figure with large wings and glowing red eyes. Witnesses described the creature as resembling a mix of a man and a bird, with a wingspan of about 10 feet. It was said to emit a high-pitched, eerie screech. The Mothman sightings were often accompanied by reports of strange occurrences, including electrical malfunctions, strange phone calls, and even sightings of UFOs. These events created a sense of unease and fear in the community. The apex of the Mothman phenomenon occurred on December 15, 1967, when the Silver Bridge, a vital bridge connecting Point Pleasant to Ohio, suddenly collapsed during rush hour, resulting in the deaths of 46 people. Some locals believe that the Mothman sightings were an omen or warning of the impending disaster. While the Mothman phenomenon is not directly related to the harpy of Greek mythology, it illustrates how mysterious and unexplained phenomena can lead people to interpret strange sightings as supernatural or mythical creatures. In reality, the Mothman was likely a case of mistaken identity, with eyewitnesses potentially observing owls, sandhill cranes, or other large birds at night. The Mothman legend has since become a part of American folklore and has been the subject of books, documentaries, and even a Hollywood film. It serves as a reminder of the enduring human fascination with the unknown and our propensity to attribute meaning to unexplained events, much like the ancient myths that continue to captivate our imaginations. In essence, the harpies have transcended their origins in Greek mythology to become archetypal figures that resonate across cultures and time periods.
Their portrayal and symbolism have evolved, reflecting the cultural contexts in which they are found. From ancient Greece to modern pop culture, the harpies continue to captivate our imaginations with their enigmatic and multifaceted nature.